guys, it's Katie from Crafty here, and I am so excited because we've got our new December cut file from Bossy Brushstrokes today, and it is so cute. I think you guys are really going to love it. Um, so we are going to be putting uh, this cut file, it says Cup of Cheer, onto a coffee mug because there's nothing better on a cold day than a nice warm cup of cheer. Uh, for me, it's almost always coffee. We're using some gold or a Cal 651 today, and we're going to put it right on our mat. Um, you want to put the uh, the backing side, that white side, down towards your mat. You want the color side up, um, and then you're going to get it all loaded up into your machine and let it get started on cutting. So once your machine is done cutting, you can just unload the mat um, and it will be ready to go here. I like to always cut away the excess vinyl. I talked about this before, but I am a big scrap hoarder. I feel like you can always find something to do with the little scraps uh, left over of your project. So I tend to cut close to the edges um, and save as much vinyl as I can. Uh, so you can see here this cup of cheer design. We're gonna get it all weeded out and ready to put on our mug. little trick I like to do is just fold the sticky sides of your vinyl against each other, stick it to your table, and it makes just a nice little area for you to put your um, other scraps on because they'll stick to it. So it just makes things a little bit simpler. I don't know about you guys, but I don't really have a particular um, method to the <laughs> places I weed. I just kind of go wherever I feel like. So I don't necessarily do like all one word at a time, all one line at a time. I'll jump around all over my design. Um, I always wonder whether or not anybody else has like a method to their madness. So that was really simple and how amazing is this design. Arlena always comes up with really great options for us and they're all free which is also amazing. So you can see this mug, we just grabbed it at Target. So I'm going to get this here on my transfer paper. Um, We've got this transfer paper available online. It's really nice, you guys. It's not um, super sticky, but it definitely grabs a hold of the project, and the lines on it are really helpful for lining up your design. So just give it a good rub here, and then you can peel that backing off, and your design will be left behind. gently peel that back there all right so we've got this all ready to go I'm just gonna take your mug and line it up um, where you want it this mug's a little tricky because it's got the the line on the design So I find it easiest to uh, work from the top down. And another thing you can do is just cut a couple little slits here into the transfer tape between your letters and that will give it a little bit more give, especially on a mug like this that's got a lot of curve to the bottom half. And then you can see it makes it a little bit more pliable so you can get it down 
kind of in sections. Or you get it all nice and smooth. So again, you're just gonna work that on there really nice and good. And then we will peel back the transfer tape. And you guys, seriously, how adorable is this mug? It is so cute and so simple to make and it makes a really thoughtful um, nice gift for anybody who is on your list this year and that's it we're done